So don't forget, this is our week one 80 day obsession call. Um, actually, we start tomorrow, so that's day one, week one. But this is awesome because we are gonna be doing the Zoom just like this, same thing, every single Sunday. You are more than welcome to unmute if you have questions. As you all hop on, I'm just gonna mute everyone because there's background noise and it gets really frustrating because you can't talk or it echoes or whatever. So if you have a question, just unmute because we're all here to chit chat, not me just talk at you guys because that's just frustrating. <laughs> and I don't wanna listen to myself, trust me, I do it enough. Um, okay, so as far as the Zoom chats, what to expect? Uh, we're gonna talk about successes and struggles for the week. Um, we are gonna talk about, um, gosh, a lot of things. You might just have something completely not related, but you need to get it off your chest. This is where to do it. We are like team building. I, we should call these team building Zoom chats because that's really what they are. Because you're going to have a lot of questions throughout the week. You're going to get most of those answered in the group or um, through private messaging or whatever you are. But guys, if you can come, check the event section every single week because the time might change a little bit depending on the leader of the Zoom. So it's not going to be the same time every Sunday, but it will be every Sunday. Does that make sense? Y'all got that? Yes, perfect. And I'm really, guys, I just can't thank you enough for being on because I know it's really weird. If you're not a coach and you haven't done a Zoom chat before, and you're like, what are you, what are, you guys are all looking at me. Don't worry, we're not all looking at you. Or maybe we are, you just don't know. <laughs> but we're so excited to have you guys here. We are so excited to have you guys do this program with us. It is gonna be challenging. Um, we don't expect any of you to be perfect, but we do expect that you keep showing up. Okay, you signed up for this, keep showing up. If you get overwhelmed, if you start to overanalyze things, if you feel like completely shutting down, don't run and hide, okay? I don't know if you're all believers or whatnot, but I truly believe that the enemy, when we, or the universe, or whatever you wanna call it, as soon as we start doing something good, little things start to eat at us and start to drag us down and try to stop us. And I truly believe that in, if you run and hide and don't share your struggles with people, that you won't be able to overcome them and you won't be able to stay on track. Being on this journey, whether it be a health journey or the, just the journey of life, is not easy, okay? But it can be so rewarding when you surround yourself with incredible people that have big goals. And guess what? That's this group. I've never seen so many people, I think almost every single person in our group is doing 80 day obsession. That's freaking awesome. I've run, what I've been a coach for three and a half years, I've run multiple test groups. Never have I ever had this many people commit to the same program. And whether they plan on doing it for maintenance or weight loss or, guys, I'm here for accountability. Straight up, I'm here for accountability. Otherwise, I would be hiding, eating carbohydrates and crying in a room somewhere because I'm pregnant and hormonal. Not even kidding. Um, so I was like, I have to do this program because I need to do it with other people. <laughs> so I'm here for that and I'll do the program to the best of my ability. So these phone calls are again, again, come with questions, come with successes, come with struggles, come with like, well, what if this happens? Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, the biggest thing you can do is one, don't overanalyze everything. There's a lot of information out there please, please, please. I find that one of the biggest struggles right now that they're having, we're in a coach test group as well. There's all coaches in there. Please do research and kind of get more than one answer. If you're feeling like something doesn't sound right, or you looked up something or someone that some random person on the street answered your question about the meal plan or the program, please, it's like going to a doctor, get a second opinion, because not all of us have the right answers all the time, but we'll tell you if we don't. As coaches, we'll be like, hold on, I don't fully understand that. Let me go research it, I'll get back to you. But don't just you know, go off on your own. We're here for a reason and in a group. Okay, so that was my tangent. Don't overanalyze everything. Um, just show up, come to the group. Again, if you didn't see my live video, I'll talk for like a second over, what was that? It was a live welcome video to the group. If you get overwhelmed, turn off the notifications. Guys, it's super, super easy. And just set a reminder in your phone to check in with the group five days a week if you want, six days a week, there's gonna be a nightly check-in, whatever it may be, but I'm telling you, tomorrow when it kicks off, people are gonna be so excited, there's gonna be a million posts, and you're gonna be like, Facebook, I can't, and you're gonna freak out. Just turn off the notifications, okay? You wanna scroll through on your own time? Feel free to do that, and then it's rewarding. You're not like freaking out when your phone's going off. I have no, I don't think, any notifications on my phone. I don't even have text messages. My husband gets so frustrated at me. I'm like, I don't want it, I don't want it popping up, and distracting me from either my children or from answering messages or from what I'm doing in that moment. So that's another tip. Um, as far as this call in particular, 
our topic was just to see what you guys had, what questions you had. Um, if you guys, like last minute, I know a lot of you are meal prepping. This is what you should have done, actually. Let me go over this right quick. Do, do, do. I have my list. Number one is meal plan and prep because we do start tomorrow. Okay, that's number one, meal plan and prep. I meal planned with what I had in my fridge. I haven't grocery shopped yet. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I have not grocery shopped. So tomorrow for me, I'm gonna, I have, it's all, I have enough to get through tomorrow and then I'm gonna meal plan. But guess what? I'm getting through tomorrow. So even if you haven't done it yet, don't think, oh, this is it, I'm out, I'm already out. No, just pull a me, eat what you can with what you have and go shop tomorrow, okay? Because I know it's late and you're probably like, I'm not going out now, so that's fine. Um, it, make sure if you haven't figured out what bracket you're in. Guys, it looks like this. No, it doesn't. This is your measurement sheet. Um, I think I folded mine up. Figure out what bracket you're in, and it's really, really easy. Jen, um, I'm totally going to put you on the spot, and I love you, and I know you're eating too, so you're like, come on. <laughs> um, but what? Oh, I'm, I'm unmuting you. What is that? I have Chinese food. It's my last cheat meal. Oh, I'm so – come on. I'm going to call Brian. He just left to the start. Get me some red goons. <laughs> Um, I love you. Jen is one of our coaches on here. Jen Fenton, you'll see her. She's, she's like the queen of questions. She's so good. And I'm telling you, you ever need a trusty answer, that girl's got it. She has the FAQs memorized for all of Beachbody and everywhere. So Jen- I don't go that far. Not that far. <laughs> well, well I, I feel, I can't, I can't do that. Um, but so she is great. And right before this call, I was like, I can't find it in my thing. How do we figure out Maintenance versus weight loss. I've gotten that question in the last few hours like nine times. I've seen it posted and posted and posted. So Jen, please explain this. So if you are not looking to lose weight, if you just want to maintain your current weight and just work on muscle growth, um, just don't subtract the, I believe for phase one, it's 750 calories for a calorie deficit. Just don't subtract that um, off of your total. So go with whatever the plan is before that last calculation. Um, because that calorie deficit is what's going to help you lose weight. So if you don't subtract that, then you'll just maintain what you're at. Awesome. Thank you so much. So guys, again, this goes right back to the first thing I started this call with. Don't overanalyze everything. Some of this is really easy and some of it can seem really hard. If you guys are trying to do the meal plan and introduce five to seven new recipes in one week, don't do that. It's really difficult to do that. Um, Oh, hold on. Let's see. Jessica, there are a few recipes. Oh, that's a good question. So the, the containers are the same as the 21 day fix containers, right? They're the same size or exactly what it is. So if you guys find recipes that are in fixate or on, um, on Pinterest, oh my gosh, I love Pinterest. Usually at the bottom, they'll break down the containers and everything else. And you can use those recipes. So feel free to go and use those and um, yeah, like I find that difficult for me. I'm just doing really easy food. So in the first week I'm incorporating two new recipes. That's it. One's a muffin recipe and one's a chicken parm dinner recipe. Um, so if you have questions on recipes, just post them on the page. And if you need recipes, ask for them. And I'm sure there will be tons, tons listed. Tracy, Tracy, coach Tracy. <laughs> um, I see. Oh, hold on. I, I thought I unmuted you. Unmute, ma'am. <laughs> did hi. you have a hi? Did you have a question? Um, I was just explaining to Darren what was happening right now because he oh. said he'd like to join in on this little uh, call. <laughs> okay, hi, Darren. So like, hi. <laughs> See, guys, I he's told like, y'all what's happening right now, and why are there any men on this? <laughs> oh, tell him to get in the screen. And we do have one guy in our group. I think I saw him. See, Darren, <laughs> now we have a guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry to be distracting. No, no, no. And see, guys, so this call is meant to be fun. Okay? It's meant to be fun. I'll call you out if I see you and you're like, hey, I see you. are like, what's her. happening? Why are you doing weird things yeah. over there? Because yeah, your, your face was like, no. yes, like, no, Jack. And I was like, I'm so, the recipes, did I screw something up? There, there are lots of them. I, I didn't even realize. I should have took my, like, my video off. <laughs> no, I love, that's why I love this call. Because it's just, it's what it is. Okay. So as far as, um, questions guys anybody have questions just unmute yourself and if i don't know the answer there's literally one two three four five there's like seven coaches on here so someone will have the answer questions about meal plan questions about workout times questions that um or something that you're worried about for the week like i'm freaking out about waking up at 4 45 
That's me freaking out. Okay, good. Jessica's with me. Um, I think I saw Adri. Her eyes went up a little bit. Emily's with me freaking out. Okay. Free, I'm like sweating thinking about it. I'm like, I usually am an early riser. I haven't been in like three months. Haven't at all. And tomorrow's day one. So my accountability is I'm going to post on the group. I might even post like a really ugly in my bed post, but I'm going to be like, okay, that way I know I'm up. You guys know I'm up or I'll post on my story somewhere. Um, so you're not alone in that and waking up early. Any other worries or things you guys want to just get off your chest and say, I'm so I'm freaking out, man. Like anything, anything coaches want to chime in? So I've seen something on the um, Facebook page and somebody actually tagged me in it earlier. Um, but it was regarding the containers and the meals and swapping them around and stuff. And I think we may have already sort of talked about it, but um, as long as you keep your containers together, the only things that need to remain the same are the pre workout meal and the post workout meal. Those have to surround your workout. The other ones, you can move those around. Um, so if you want to have meal two for meal four or whatever it is, you can swap them around as long as you keep the containers together. Like you can't borrow a container from meal two for meal three. Like as long as you keep them together, you can swap the order of them. Okay. I think I, does everybody, does that make sense to everybody? So just keep your workout block the same. And the reason it's like that is because she's made it. So she's fueling, we're fueling our workout and we're refueling after our workout. And that really is key. And I know that I've heard this a lot too, is that people are like, I never eat before my workout. I'm going to throw up guys and throw up. Okay. Just throw up. It's going to be a hard, it's going to be a hard thing. <laughs> I know it's terrible, but that's what Autumn on the coach. She's like, you wanted to do this program. It's going to be hard. Either you do it or you don't. And yeah. And I, yeah, go when ahead. I, when I um, first heard about the whole pre-workout meal, I was like, no, I can't do it. I No, I'm going to throw up. Like, I don't eat before I work out. It's just not something that I can do. I always – I have to at least give myself at least two hours or whatever. But I've been doing it the last, like, week or the last 10 days of a little obsessed. I've been doing it, and it's been okay. Like, I haven't thrown up or anything, and, and it probably really does help. <laughs> Um, but I know that I was like super resistant to doing it and, um, I've been doing it just to test it out and it seems to be working out well. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty crazy when you change your mindset and just say, screw it, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to do it. Nothing's going to stand in my way. I'm going to do it. And you do it and you're like, Oh, haha, whoops. Like this whole time I've done that a million times on my journey. Um, and I'm telling you your energy level, obviously, because you have something in your system, you're going to burn more. You're going to lose weight faster. Like this is all things or, or gain more muscle, you know, whatever that may be. So, okay. What else you got? Any coaches? I know you guys are not quiet. So I don't know. Susan, thank you. Up. Oh, hold on. I'm muted. Good. Okay. Perfect. So, um, well, first I want to say we did a zoom chat tonight with, um, food prepping and that was really fun. So we're going to put that up once a week on Sundays, me, Jane, Jen, and Louise did it. And so anybody can hop on. You can even invite not just for coaches, anybody that wants to get on there and hop on and prep with us. I think we decided three o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. And so it's just kind of fun to do it together. And we asked each other's questions. We're like, oh, I do this for this and I do this for that and substitute things. So it was kind of fun so you could bounce ideas off of each other. Um, also, I want to say if um, you think you can just wing it, that is not going to work with this program. <laughs> you have to have to meal prep. You can't just go into the day without it or you will feel a fail. So I haven't meal prepped for about a year, but I feel so good doing it. So if anybody wants to hop in on the Sunday um, with us, it'll be, maybe we'll just put it in the event section, Jane, or every week and people can hop on. You don't have to commit to it, but it's kind of fun to do it with other people. Yes, I love that because it's also accountability for meal prepping. So if I know that I have to meal prep at three, I'm like, ah, dang it, I gotta get my groceries. You know, so that's, that's awesome. And guys, different recipe ideas, like, you, you, I don't know. You don't want to see my, my meal prep for the week. I'm eating so boring. I'm like 10 carrots, six slices of turkey, hummus. This is going to be great. I'm not kidding, but I don't care. I'm like, that's week one. I'm a real baby when it comes to food. I'm like, eh, I'll eat anything, but I don't want to have to like cook food. I don't like have to we what containers we're using and like yes. what Ziploc items or stuff we found at different stores or just, so that was kind of fun to see that. <gasps> that's a great. And so that's 3 PM Eastern time. Yes. Awesome. And they'll make an event for that. So if you guys, a lot of information, 
go to the event section, go to the albums and the file section stuff is organized within our group. Just get familiar with it. It's like anything. It's like you're getting a new job or you're, you're becoming a mom. That's a lot of, a lot of stuff, but it's all there for you and take your time and ask questions. Thank you, Susan. I freaking love that. That's awesome. Okay. Who else? Jane, I'm going to unmute you because you unmuted earlier and I think you had something to say. Yeah, no, just, um, so uh, when you were talking about waking up early and if you're freaking out about waking early, I'm going to like be the teacher, like raise your hand if you are worried about waking up early. <laughs> okay. So I hated waking up super early and now every single day, maybe like realistically four or three, like, like four to five days during the work week, I'm up by 445 every day because I have my accountability. And I think like four to seven of us have been doing a zoom chat, either working out or just getting some personal development in or reading our devotional in the morning. And you guys, that is awesome, awesome, awesome. And now it's like, if I don't do that in the morning, I feel off. So yes, it's hard in the very beginning, but you guys will like the first week you'll be adjusted to it. So just know that after the first week of getting used to it, you'll be like, okay, I can do this. This feels good. And it starts your day off with an awesome, like go, you can like do anything. It's going to be really awesome. You'll like it. Yes. I love that. And if you notice, it's kind of funny. The people that have been doing this for a year, two years, whatever it is, we keep saying the same thing because it works. Ooh, sorry. Um, it's accountability. That's just what it is. Accountability. Like I am like, we do it with friends. I don't like to do things alone. Like now that I've, I used to, now that I have children, I'm like, I can't even go to the store by myself. Like it's real weird, but I'm like, I want to be on a fitness journey with other people. I want to complain when I'm sore. I want to complain when I want a crab rangoon and I texted Brian and I don't know if he's going to get me one. So I'm freaking out about it. I was like, that's so bad. Crab rangoon. <laughs> I'm honest. Like you will, I am the most honest person you'll ever meet. If I never lie, cause I get really sweaty and it's, I can't, I can't get it out of my mouth. So accountability, accountability, accountability. You are not alone on this journey. Even don't let the enemy, don't let the universe trick you into thinking you're alone cause you're not. So, okay. Jane, I heard from you, Susan, if you guys have more, chime in. Jen, I kind of heard from you, Tracy, I forced you a little bit. Uh, Candace, hi, let me see. I can't unmute you, are you locked? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Ah, there you go. Hi, okay, what do you have to add? Uh, B, um, the hell's the word I'm looking for? Be easy on yourself. Like this week is going to be hard. It's going to suck. And it's a, use it as a learning curve and not, don't beat yourself up if you fail day one, you know, fix it for the next day and move along. Like this is, it's not, it's not a sprint. Like this is till the, what, mid-April. So mm -hmm. don't, don't be hard on yourself and don't give up your first week. Yeah, Sorry, I don't have any other meal planning things. You guys no, that's great. fine. And I think we've had a lot of meal planning, but that's the real, the realness of it is that the first week, everyone's going to be really excited and it is going to be hard and we are going to be learning. Second week, you're going to be a little less excited. Third week, you're going to be kind of over it. I'm telling you, you're going to be kind of over it. Fourth week, are you kidding me? I still have to do this. And you're going to be like, come on, guys, this is a marathon a marathon. It's the rest of your life. That's what we want for you. We want a lifestyle change for you. We don't want you to go on a diet. Of course, if you want six pack abs, we want you to have six pack abs. That's great. That's a great goal. We want you to, if you want to gain muscle, great. You want to lift your butt. I want to lift my butt. Okay. Like these are goals. We want you to reach those, but we want you to have a healthy life so you can have a long life so that you can run with your kids so that you can complete that marathon that you marathon that you want to do. We want you to reach those goals. We don't want you to just at the end of 80 days be like, okay, that was great. Thank you so much. See you later. We don't want that. That's not why we started this. Yeah, I think that's great. Oh, also pick a goal that is not how you look like that is going to push you forward. Like Jack said, pick, if you want to run a marathon, you want to run a 5k, you want to lift heavy weights, you want something that does not have a single thing to do with how you look will mm -hmm. keep you pushing harder on those days that really, really suck. Mm -hmm. 
I love that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Um, Abby, I don't know if you can talk, but I really, really, really loved your meal plan and your self-care tips. I'm going to unmute you and you're, I don't know. If, I can't unmute you. You're locked. If you can talk, talk now. If not, I'm going to have you share on the page. Abby had an awesome, like, well, a beautifully done too on a whiteboard. Um, she had her, her whole plan for AM workout, PM workout, but then she had like on another whiteboard, how she was going to, going to like treat herself after on Sunday, I think Sunday was her treat day and she's at a meeting. So maybe she's at work or something, but it was really awesome to see that because self-care is huge. It is whether it's a, taking a bath, getting a manicure or a pedicure, make sure you set aside time, whether it's every day or just one day a week that you're doing something for you besides the working out the meal plan and all of this stuff, even taking a bath. Like that's pretty awesome. When was the last time you, and not, not a rushed bath, not like, Oh my God, I got to go care for someone or, or, Oh my gosh, Jude's in with me again. He is always in my bath. Like always. He just does no personal space. I'm not kidding. And my showers. So today I shut the door and I made Brian get out and everybody get out and I don't want any questions. And I didn't let Jude come in until the very end. But I was like, Oh my gosh, 10 minutes of just, I don't even know. I don't even think I had a thought in the shower. I just stood there and stared into the space and it felt so good. It felt really good to have that little bit of alone time and self-care time. So make sure that you're putting that into your program as well. What day are you going to do self-care? How, what are you, it, it doesn't have to be something you go spend money on either. I don't want to go spend $40 on a pedicure, even though I really, 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 really need it. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that right now. I'll wait till my stomach gets bigger and then I make an excuse that I can't reach my toes. So like figure out what works for you guys, but in corporate, I'm not kidding. I totally use that excuse. I'm like, I can't bend over. Now I can go get one. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. Who else haven't I heard from? Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Welcome to the call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, do you, what do you got for us? I know you and Zach, they're starting tomorrow as a couple, and I saw Zach sneaking in there too. Um, yeah. <laughs> hi, Zach. <laughs> What's up, Zach? See, we have another guy on the call. You, they're always sneaky in the background, let me tell you. They're always like, Brian, is, um, you guys know, Brian's like right here until he sees me on a Zoom call, then he walks by slowly and is like, recognize me, say hello. I'm like, okay, go. I swear that's me. Um, but how... You and Zach are doing this. You're doing it together. Tell us a little bit about your plan. Like, is, are you on the same meal plan? How are you prepping? Give us some deets. So Zach and I are not on the same meal plan. And I am a super control freak. So <laughs> I have, I made my meal plan and I made his meal plan. And I'll do all the cooking for that. He does all the cleaning. <laughs> I love that. Um, but... I don't know. I'm keeping it really simple this week just because I know that it can be really intimidating going in. So we're just going to like kind of, and I'm a creature of habit. I don't, I really don't get bored with food. So like we'll eat the same stuff all week really. And then um, we will see how it goes from there. And then maybe next week we'll try out some new recipes and switched things up a bit but we're really really excited it's funny to see him do workouts like this because he does not like do isolated workouts at all because he's used to lifting heavy mm -hmm. at the gym so that's funny and it's it makes me feel good because I'm like you can do it <laughs> <laughs> that's that's literally Brian too but he's he won't commit to doing this with me but I was like oh my gosh like watching because I feel like guys do think it's like a girl program but it's hard like it's, hard. it's not a girl program it's a hard program either way you look at it so it's really cool to see you guys committing and I'm so excited to see you guys like your whole journey and at the end and I got to get on snapchat more because she has a hilarious snapchat story but I don't even know I can't figure out how to get over to the stories. I'm so old. I'm like, Whitney, where are you? I feel like I want to yell it, but you don't hear me. It's really bad. Um, but no, I think it's really cool that you guys are doing it together. Um, how did you, this is a big question. Maybe, maybe I need this advice. Maybe it's for a friend. How did you get him on board with doing the program with you? Um, I really didn't give him a choice. <laughs> I said, you're doing this with me. And I think knowing like he sees how positive my attitude has been since I like 
did the ultimate reset and then I joined as a coach and he wants me to be successful. So he's going to support me in any way that he can. And I was like, you know, I have to do, I'm going on this journey and you have to come with me. <laughs> like we need to share our story and like inspire others to do it with us. So <laughs> See, I love that. See, I think you talk much nicer than I do. I'm like, I, I'm really bad at giving compliments just to Brian. I don't know why. I like, it's, I, and I'm not, I, I say, I try to, I try to put things together. You're like, oh, we can inspire people together. And I'm like, you know, he's like, oh, I feel pregnant. I'm like, well, you kind of look a little bit pregnant, maybe. And I'm like, and he goes, why do you say it like that? I'm like, I'm just saying what you said. <laughs> I'm so bad. So maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that role. Um, but I'm, I'm totally going to be stalking you guys journey and Zach, you rock for doing this with her. So I just want to give a little shout out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's, I think he's excited and we kind of make light of it. So like we have a really great time when we're doing it. Like we laugh, like honestly, our relationships not, wasn't bad before this, but since we've done it, I think we have like grown more as a couple. So. I love that. And that's so true is that because you guys are both working towards a goal together. And I think that just pushing each other and like encouraging each other, it's something that you really kind of lose time or lose track of because of work and how busy you are and just sitting and watching TV. Like that's what we do now. And I'm like, I hate TV. I just get, if I get into binging, then I'm binging for like a week. Like I have a serious problem. I can't do that. You know? So I think that's awesome. So I'm looking forward to watching your journey. Um, I don't know how much you can put on your, you said on your Facebook page because of work. Um, right. But until I figure out Snapchat, at least share it on our group page because it's on my goal list for before I have the baby to figure out Instagram and Snapchat, I swear. Yeah, I try to, I post more on, um, on Snapchat, but I do try to post it on my live story on Instagram. Oh, I just I want to do that. I have like co-workers and like parents yeah. on my Facebook and sometimes like my co-workers are driving me crazy and that's kind of why I started doing this like as a way to get out of this so I don't you know what I mean but yes no I love it I absolutely love it so I'm, I'm psyched and so excited to watch your journey so thank you for sharing I know I totally put you on the spot <laughs> that was like Jack's gonna call you out and I was oh, yeah. Not. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm going around like, who can I get next? Because <laughs> I want you guys to all feel comfortable on the Zoom chat. It's like, guys, if you want to hear me talk, go listen to my live videos or call me. Like, I don't want it just to be me. Like, that's just, it's not the Jack show. So thank you, Whitney. Um, and I saw a question from Jessica. Yes, uh, I am eating three hours apart. My meals are all, like, I went on the top, on the high end of it because I am going to get up so early. So the way I spaced it out was like 8, 11, 8, 11, 2, and 5. So my last meal is at 5, but we're supposed to be getting 8 hours of sleep a night. So I won't get hangry. I'm going to go to bed a little earlier too. I'm just going to just do it. So I'm like, if I'm hungry, go to bed. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm just going to put myself to sleep. Um, and hopefully that works. Okay, do you guys have any more questions? These are, by the way, these Zoom calls last for about 40 minutes. Um, if we don't have anything to talk about, I'm, I love you guys, but we don't need to just stare at each other. We could all be sleeping or prepping or anything else. Um, or they go the full 40 minutes and we get to just connect. So do I have anybody else that wants to add anything? <laughs> no, no one, nothing. No, no, nobody. Oh, Candace. Okay. Um, I'll unmute you because it looks like you're hey, recording man. stuff. Okay. Got it. <laughs> no, just, uh, it was just, I printed out all my stuff which I highly recommend you guys doing and your tracker sheet. So you guys know like yes. where you're at and how you're making progress fitness wise, because that's what it's about, right? Not, not just our appearance and our mm -hmm. pictures and our measurements and stay off the scale. Yes. All of you, everybody, seriously. It only, take... it only makes you angry and yeah. depressed. And tr nice person. Well, and Tracy, Tracy, who was in the test group, um, she's one of my best friends. She's awesome. She's a coach with us. And she was in like the original test group doing the live workouts with Autumn. She's like, I lost 12 pounds, 12 pounds in the first phase. And she was like, yeah, I'm crushing. I'm doing awesome. 
she lost two pounds in the second phase. And she was like, seriously? And everyone was complaining, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Everybody, all the coaches in the test group were complaining. Guys, the scale didn't matter. The inches, the before and afters, y'all saw them. That's why, probably why you're here. That's why I'm here. I want muscles. Um, but I'm telling you, like, the scale is a liar. You're, the scale just, I, I can't stand it. Everybody's body composition is different. Everybody's body percentages, everything is different. And 10 pounds on, on Candace and 10 pounds on me, totally different, totally different. And it's going to take both of us different time periods to lose 10 pounds. It just, it's, it's awful. I don't like it. I like measurements. I like seeing how many reps you can do. I think strength is freaking awesome. Um, and I think the tracker sheets, yes, if you haven't printed them, I have a I have so many piles, guys, I'd show you. Um, but they're really cool because you can literally write down what pound weights you're moving when you're moving up. And I think Walmart has really cheap weights. I know they do if you haven't gotten yeah. your weights yet. Just go to Walmart, budget it in there like $10 a weight. Yeah. Get a binder from the dollar store. Yeah, get a binder because you, you don't want you don't want this what I have going on right here. I'm like, hold on, I'm sifting through. I'm, just, I'm a hot mess, you guys. Uh, so thank yeah, I I totally agree. Thank you for that reminder, Candice. Okay, our timer's going. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Anybody? Anybody? Emily? Yes. Okay, hold on, let's see. I can't hear you though. You're unmuted. I heard the volume go up, but I didn't. I heard like tapping. Hold it close to your mouth. Let's see if it makes a difference. No. <laughs> no. Post it on the page after. <laughs> Thank you, though. Guys, and we have tech. This is life. This is like you guys see the realness of it. This is what we do. It's technical difficulties. We deal with it all the time. It's not a big deal. So share it on the page. I know it's going to be awesome. All right. Um, I'm trying to see. Everything keeps shifting because people are hopping on and off. So I'm trying to see like who I haven't harassed. <laughs> and don't worry, guys, if you're not a coach and you're like, oh, she won't call on me. You're going to show up week after week. I'm going to call on you. Okay. So this is your, this is your freebie pass. And don't not come back because you're like, she might ask me a question. No, you see how. Jack, goes. you're trying to like stop people from coming on. Don't no. tell them you're going to call on <laughs> them. So. Come on. Come on. They're here. They're here now. They're one of us. There, there are people. <laughs> okay. Um, then on that note, you guys, if no more questions, no more comments, extra things, I'm going to let y'all go because um, it is eight o'clock and you're supposed to get some rest. Finish your meal, meal prep, finish your planning. Don't try to commit to everything in one week. Like we said, keep it simple. If you want to join the meal prep next week, join the meal prep. Put it in your calendar so you know it's there. Hi. Um, put it in the calendar so you know it's there. And then just set a reminder on your phone. If you make it great, if you don't, it's okay. It's okay. No one's going to hunt you down. This is your journey. Hop on what helps you, what's going to help you stay accountable to it. And don't beat yourself up. Please don't beat yourself up. Please, please, please. If you have not taken your before pictures, take them now. Okay. Try to get, these are the biggest tips. Get a blank wall. I took mine right over there. I moved my table and I took down that picture behind me. So it could just be a white wall. That's all I did. And then I, I tr Emmett tried to help me. He could not hold my phone. So I had to prop my phone up on something, on something else, on something else. And I set the timer and I took the picture. And then I made a collage with him because it was easier to post. So make sure you're taking your before pictures because when that scale doesn't move and you get on it, even though we told you not to get on it, but it doesn't move, but you can put your picture side by side and you're like, are you kidding? Look at that butt raise. I'm really aiming for a butt, you guys, <laughs> clearly. But you can sit there and see, and you're like, wow, I don't see the numbers moving on the scale. But guess what? I see definition in my back. I'm stronger when I'm picking up my kids. I'm stronger when I'm lifting boxes at work or I've changed my own tire. I don't know that I've done that in years, but still, I'm stronger. So make sure you're taking those pictures. And then if you want to be entered to win a prize, you guys have 54 minutes to get them uploaded <laughs> to the album. So you need your before picture and your meal prep. Again, don't, if you don't do PowerPoint or Excel or any fancy thing for your meal prep and it just looks like mine, it's like a crinkly piece of paper, it's okay. Take a picture of your crinkly piece of paper and post it in the album so that you can be entered to win a prize. Prizes are awesome. So I don't know what the prize is yet. I don't know. Susan, did you? Um, Susan's out of the screen, but she might be able to hear me. Did we say what the prize was, Jen? Anybody? Oh, here she is. Hello. Hi. Did so the prize is a um, a fix eight cookbook. 
along with a bunch of stuff for your kitchen, like just little fun um, stuff, like stuff that will make meal prep easier. Ah. So if you don't have a fix it cookbook, well, mine's buried underneath here somewhere, but um, this is the cookbook, the fix it cookbook. It has all the containers and all the recipes in it, so it'll just be a nice addition no matter what level you are in, um, A, B, C, D, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's yeah. interesting. So I'll probably do the drawing. I don't know if I'll do it tonight, depending on the kids' bedtime, but it'll be up by tomorrow morning. So you guys have time to get your measurements in and your pictures and your meal plan to be entered to win. Awesome. Thank you. And that's so cool because every coach does things differently. And that's why we wanted all our coaches to come together for this because we all have strengths. And my big weakness is putting together prizes because I forget to do them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, two weeks ago, I was supposed to draw a name and that's just not my strength. And Susan's like, but I want to do a prize. I'm like, yes. So that's, I'm, I'm so thankful to Susan for just, you know, putting that together. And um, and to J Jane's crushed it. Let's do Jane and Jen and shout out to Kansas and, and Tracy and everybody. There's a lot of background work that goes into putting this group together and to have these calls and to do all this stuff and to show up. It's a lot of work, but we're here because we want you guys to feel the best that you felt. We want you to have those, reach those goals or be on the way to your goals. And we don't want you to do it alone because we all struggled doing it alone or trying to do it alone for so long. And we love you guys. Whether you think we're crazy, we kind of are. That's fine. Um, but we are your tribe now. Like, you're kind of stuck with us. If you hate us at the end, it's fine. It's a love-hate relationship because you'll be like, oh, I can't believe they made me do with a full 80 days. But man, I feel good. And man, my kids are noticing. For me, and I know I talk about kids a lot. Clearly, I have a couple, uh, more than a couple. But when they look at me and say, mom, why didn't you do your workout? Or mom, can we play a game? Or, or can we do this? Or even if it was to work an extra hour at work or whatever it may be, you have the energy to do that. You're going to feel pretty damn proud of yourself and you should, and you really should. And people are going to see that, that, that compound effect isn't just going to be on you. It's going to be on your significant other. It's going to be on your friends and people you care about the happier, like the healthier you, healthier you are truly guys, the happier you are because you feel lighter, you can share more and we'll start implementing in phase two talking about things like personal development. So not only, once you learn how to fuel your mind or fuel your body with nutrients and food and with workouts, we're gonna teach you how to fuel your mind, which is really cool. It's different books you can read, different podcasts you can listen to, to help change your mindset, whether you're in a negative mindset, whether you think you're the biggest badass in the world, and it's amazing, sorry if there's kids. And I love that, I love that, keep that, we need more of that. But we're gonna really help you, and that'll be in a few weeks, so after you get comfortable with everything else. So thank you all for being on. I'm gonna take a picture right quick. Hold on, so everyone say cheese. You don't have to, this is only going on a group page, so don't freak out. <laughs> it's like, no, wait, I, I didn't do my makeup. All right, um, do I have everyone? I think I do. Ready, three, two, one, do a big cheese. Ashley, I can't see you, I don't know if she can hear me. Okay, cheese, I tried, I tried. Okay, I'll post it up. Again, set reminders in your calendar, be here. You guys are not alone. We love you guys. Thank you for joining everyone. Have a great night. Bye.